so much epic news in one epic video. going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video you already know give it a thumbs up man we're gonna hit you with some flames for this video all right bro if you saw my twitter post i've been the last week working in my front yard doing some doing my own landscaping on my own yard came out beautiful but we're not here to talk about obi-wan animal crossing in real life we're here to talk about some epic news items. We got a couple of dope news items for this video. The first one, the PlayStation 5 launch date has been leaked. Now, I talked about this um, Amazon leak yesterday, but I just talked about the price. Uh, the, they leaked the price and the launch date. First, again, the price was um, $565 for the disc um playstation 5 and 450 dollars for the all digital playstation 5 which right around the ballpark of what i'm thinking this thing is going to cost it's going to be an expensive console not expensive but based on what the ceo of sony says um he said we're going to emphasize value over price so they want to give us a reason to get the system but the launch date and i think this makes sense november 20th november 20th is the leak um and it's since been removed from amazon november 20th as a launch date for the playstation 5 now i think this makes sense this would be a week before black friday and right in the thick of the holiday shopping season when everyone's trying to buy the hottest item for Christmas, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X will be two hot items. And so on November 20th, mark your calendar, which I think it might be right around that time. And there was a, a rumor a couple months ago that says Sony was going to try to launch in October to get a jump on Microsoft but it looks like both consoles might be targeting a holiday release. So, stick, keep your ears peeled. But as news comes, your boy has you covered, boy. That's why you subscribe to the show. You're not subscribed? I'm having a giveaway every month. It's at the end of the video. You'll see it. The links are in the description. But the next news item. Bro. Bro. Sony has confirmed why the playstation 5 is so huge bro this console when you put it uh, they have um images with it standing next to the xbox series x and it is significantly taller than the xbox series x it's a pretty big console and sony has come out and explained why the console is so big this is according to pushsquare.com the playstation is that is this size this large because it wants to keep the system cool and so playstation 5 has this large size in order to keep the system running cool there were reports and rumors of dev kits overheating <coughs> and if you compare the dev kit pictures to what the final product is the dev kits appear to be much smaller than what the final product is and so uh, the large size serves to alleviate some of the cooling problems the system had because there were fears that if you buy a PlayStation 5, it's going to overheat. But it seemed to be a, it seemed to have been remedied by the large size of the I I'm liking the console design, man. Futuristic, it looks clean. I think they nailed the console design. I like it. All right, next news item. Pokemon! <laughs> we had 
a Pokemon Presents um, presentation earlier today. And I'm going to give you some of my takeaways. The first one, I actually like this. Pokemon Smile are completely free. No in-app purchases, just something free that Pokemon is doing. It's for kids that helps them brush their teeth. Bro, I have kids. I'm a gaming dad. This is going to be so dope. My kids are going to love this. I'm going to surprise them with this tonight um, when it's time to brush his teeth. Especially my younger kid, my four-year-old. He's always, like, running to brush his teeth. So he should, he should, he should, like... Um, this at Pokemon Smile. I think this is pretty dope and innovative. One thing I could appreciate Nintendo Pokemon Company, they're different, bro. They're different. This isn't for everyone, of course, but it's different. Also, 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 Pokemon Snap has been announced, bro. When I first saw the first images of Pokemon Snap, check this out. Bro, this looked beautiful. Just imagine a mainline Pokemon game looking this clean not the garbage that was pokemon sword show not <coughs> pokemon sword show was not garbage but no one can deny there was a little there was a little lazy with some of the graphical assets but the game is looking clean i never played pokemon snap on my nintendo 64 i don't know if i'm gonna pick this one up either i'm not really too hyped about it look how good this looks though bro i'm not too hyped about taking pokemon pictures bro <laughs> i don't roll with pokemon that hard but the game does look cool. Pokemon Snap fan service. And they did also announce another presentation will be next week on June 24th. And he hinted that it's going to be something big. So expect even, a, even either an announcement for the next mainline Pokemon game or a big Pokemon remake next week. So more Pokemon news will be coming next week. And... The last news item. I got to remind you dudes. EA Play 2020. EA's um, not E3 presentation. It's supposed to be E3 this time. Around this time. But the whole coronavirus everything. Uh, next um, will be tomorrow. Tomorrow. I about to say next week. It's tomorrow. Not next week. Tomorrow. June 18th. At 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be live streaming this event. They did say they're going to give Nintendo some more love. That they're going to have more, exp have more games on the Switch. So I can't wait to see what games they have on the Switch. Apex Legends, possibly on the Switch. If they do that, I think Apex Legends just need to be full crossplay. They need to announce Apex Legends full crossplay. Make everyone happy. Don't matter what system you buy the game on. We can all play together. So... I will be live streaming. Also, like games like Sims 4, they could announce Sims 5. Sims 5 could be announced at this presentation. I'm interested to see what EA has to offer. They already um, announced that new um, um, Squadron Star Wars um, flight game. I'm on for that day one. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, uh, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All thanks, game, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi1Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.